Since 1985, Montana and Taiwan have had a sister state relationship. Governor Greg Gianforte reopened the Montana Asian Trade Office two years ago. It was a decision that solidified Taiwan as an important friend to Montana and created opportunities for leading industries in an international market. At the end of October, Governor Greg Gianforte led his first international trade mission to Taiwan alongside leading Montana organizations. They're looking for alternative supply chains that would not be disrupted if there was a conflict in Southeast Asia. The trade mission hosted a number of photonics and bioengineering companies. Montana Tech and Ming Sin University of Technology are working on an international program between each other. The governor's office reports that Montana has one of the highest operations of photonics, optics, and quantum computing companies in the U.S. That industry is expected to grow to $2 trillion by 2025. Uh, in December, we'll have Montana uh, tech students going and studying the semiconductor industry in Taiwan. Those sorts of exchanges just make both of us stronger. A top priority on the trip, agriculture. Taiwan has become a major consumer of wheat. Kent Kuffner, Montana Wheat and Barley Committee. Well, I think the bottom line when you look at global wheat prices, we can't lose sight of the fact that the highest priced wheat on the planet probably goes to Taiwan and the marketplace will supply that but it comes at a premium and the, the Taiwanese are willing to pay that premium and that does come back to the farm gate in Montana and it goes back to increased economic returns to the Montana grower. Taiwan's demand for beef also continues to grow. Montana Department of Agriculture Director Christy Clark says that this solidifies a market. It does give us an opportunity to grow that market share. Uh, we're always looking for those opportunities. Anytime anybody wants to increase that market, wants to buy more products from us, and to just make sure that we are providing for them what they need. Nicole Rawl from the Montana Farm Bureau also attended the trade mission. Each had a different story to tell, and for Rolf, Montana and U.S. raised beef is the gold standard to Taiwan. Their appreciation for the Montana label goes beyond economic impact. If uh, folks that live all the way on the other side of the world um, recognize that product as being premium, hopefully um, when we all sit down to a nice steak dinner with a nice chewy roll uh, next to it on the plate, we recognize that that was raised right here in our own borders. Gratitude that goes miles for the treasure state. I think we've established some new relationships to complement the ones that we've had for a long time, and it's going to bear fruit for both Taiwan and Montana. In Helena, Ryan Gamboa, MTN News.